Hey y'all, it's Danny and I'm back with another cash stuffing video. It's my favorite part of the week. I absolutely love cash stuffing because I mean, I think everybody in the little budgeting community agrees they love playing with cash, but I also just love to see how my husband and I, we how we grow each week because honestly we have and we keep doing it. I'm so excited to see where we're at in a few months. So uh, to get started, um, as of right now, we will be cash stuffing $1,543. Uh, I can go ahead and count that so I make sure that I have it. Uh, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100. So I'll get my calculator here. I have 1,100. And then I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320 in 20s. And then in 10s, 1 or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 in 10s. And then I have 1, 2, 3 in 1s. So 120 plus three, and that is 1543. Perfect. Uh, as of this week, my husband and I have a total income of about $3,200 together. Uh, that is this week um, from yesterday, Friday till Thursday of next week. Uh, between that time frame, we have $1,226 worth of fixed bills coming out um, and I really don't get into much detail about those yet just because I'm not doing any sort of like cash stuffing for them or um, fixed like or I'm not really getting into detail with like what those bills are if you guys are interested I could definitely do that just let me know um, I'd be happy to let you guys know kind of what our our whole like financial picture looks like I guess um, so then with uh, those fixed bills coming out that leaves us a total of nineteen hundred and seventy four dollars for variable spending as well as extras um, like extra savings or extra debt uh, I also have left over in our last week's account I usually try to leave a buffer I know I can do stuff with that but right now, leaving a, a large buffer in my account really makes me comfortable because I end up doing stuff with it at the end. So um, super exciting what I got to do with this leftover amount. I had $443 left over. With that, I added two more dollars just because I'm, a, I'm an anal person like that. I have to round it up fives or tens, you know. Um, so with that, I was able to pay $445 toward our Capital One credit card. Um, I also didn't mention that last week, I didn't have it in my video, but I actually was able to pay $300 toward our credit card. So that was super exciting. I know I don't have it reflected here right now. Um, I will, I'm going to update this like monthly. I'm not going to do it each week because it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but I'll probably update it monthly or, you know, probably monthly. Um, it'll just be easier that way and you'll be able to see a bigger drop. So I'm super excited about that. Obviously, I'm, I'm just a little bit over, but, uh, that amount that I was able to pay, which is what for $745 worth in two weeks on my credit card is super exciting. So I am so happy I was able to do that. Uh, so we can go ahead and get into our weekly cash stuffing. Um, I will start cash stuffing with my wallet. I actually forgot too that I have left over from last week. Um, in my spending, let's see, I have left over 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars left over. Um, actually I really didn't buy myself anything this week until today I bought myself a new purse I'm super excited because it is super cute uh 
I actually have another video coming too. I also bought myself a new wallet so that it's smaller and I won't be fumbling with this giant wallet. Um, I'm so excited to, I'm gonna make a video about that actually of an unboxing because I have those wallets coming. I actually have two wallets coming. I'm trying to decide which one I like better. So I might have you guys give some input too. But um, that's a spending that I did this week and it, uh, it was around 50, I think it was a little bit more than $50. I think it was about 70, but I had some extra money anyway. So this money actually should be going to the bank. I used a lot of my spending also because this week was my husband's birthday. So my spending went toward my husband, which really was buffer. Honestly, that's why I keep my buffer in there. Um, I know a lot of people might not agree with that or they might not see it as a completely zero based budget, which it technically isn't, but all my stuff is paid for. That's it's kind of where I'm at. Like I keep a buffer because like I don't want to not have money when I need it. Um, I keep that buffer to like as for like my insurance. So um, please don't hate on me for that, guys. I know I know a lot of people don't run it that way, but like I, I leave a quite a big buffer, and even this week I think I have quite a bit left over. Um, but that leftover never goes to waste. It's going to be used next week if there's leftover there will be but the money that is in the account it will be used toward extra debt payments next week like i did this week where i had 443 dollars left over in my bank account with that money it helped pay down my debt and i wasn't struggling last week so love that um with this i will go ahead and probably use this toward my month ahead. So I'm gonna add that in. Uh, that back. And then I also had my gas. I actually didn't fill up gas either. I think I have just a 20, yeah. I just have a 20. Um, <laughs> also my gas money went toward my husband's birthday present. Uh, I wasn't really going to do anything for him and I really, it wasn't like anything crazy. My husband loves food. So I ended up getting him some like of his favorite snacks and like he's been talking about getting a new loofah. Um, <laughs> so I got him a loofah. And then I also got him new socks because he is constantly running through his socks. Um, it's crazy, I don't know how. Anywho, let's get started. Uh, my spending, I get $50 each week. So 20, 40, $50 will go in my spending. Come on, fingers. Uh, gas, I get $60 a week in gas. 20, 40, 60. So depending, I might not even fill up this week, honestly. Like depending on where we're going. I always take my husband's truck because he refuses to drive my car. But I might not even because I still have a half a tank and I don't drive for work. I work from home, so I get really lucky with gas, period. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I still haven't made my grocery. Actually, I'm not making it. I'm going to be just doing it with the new wallet. I, I already got new envelopes, um, so I'm going to be making those labels probably today just because I have not a whole lot to do. Um, groceries will get one thirty like every week. We did pretty decent last week. I don't think I went over, oh, I went over $9. I did, but that's why the buffer is there. Um, so that I live comfortably. Um, another thing with the buffer too, guys, like my husband, I love him to death, but he's one of those guys that never tells the full truth. Like, I don't know if you guys have that, like, does your husband, your boyfriends, anything, do they just not tell the full truth like I I love him and he is the best man in this world to me but sometimes he just does not disclose all information so most of the time there will be extra payments that I don't know about until he's like hey by the way uh I have this coming up and I'm like oh glad the buffer's there so uh buffer's there for all of our insurance really uh, so I have 130 going into groceries and then entertainment, uh, we get 50 each week, 20, 40, 50, um, 
we don't go down out often honestly like my husband's favorite thing to do is go out to breakfast and i just love that i love waking up early with him and being like let's go get some breakfast it's one of our favorite things we do we don't like going out to dinner it's not as packed at breakfast than it is at dinner so we're really good at that uh so fifty dollars in entertainment and then of course my bank that's you know how that is that's to go back to the bank if i ever use my card and need to put this money in here or back in the bank i just throw it in here okay and then i have some coins this week i don't have a whole lot i need to get a coin I think in my new wallet, I'm gonna make a coin uh, thing. I see a lot of people doing that on here, and I think that's really smart because I think it's easy. I feel like. Okay, oh, a dime. I feel like that's really easy to just kind of empty out, and it makes sense. Okay, my wallet is done. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Okay, then um, I'll go ahead and get into my husband's, which uh, for him, gas, he does 20, 40, 60, 80, $100 in gas. I'm gonna sit that over here. I should make him a cute wallet, but it would just sit for a minute and then go in his wallet, so it doesn't matter. 20, 40, one, 20, 40, what? <laughs> $100 right there, cute. And then for him, he also does 50 in spending as well. So 20, 40, oh, I ran out of tens. I must've used too many. Oh, well, I guess we'll use fives. Hopefully that doesn't mess me up. So I have 20, or 10, what 20? This is 10s that I'm grabbing. What am I doing? Y'all, it has been a day. I did not, I did not have a good night last night. Uh, 20, 40, 50. Ooh, Lord. I tell you. Okay, $50 in his spend, or his spending money. Um, yeah, yo, I did not have a good night last night. I was up all night with stomach cramps and everything. I tell you what, it was awful. Um, as for his lunches, he buys his lunches um, Monday through Friday. And um, I try to get him to take lunches. It's really hard for him to, and then I try to make him lunches and then he won't take them. It, easiest thing for him is to buy his lunches when he's out or if he feels like it, he'll sometimes like take his lunches like one to two days a week if he feels like it. Most of the time, he wakes up super early. He wakes up at like 5 a.m., has to be at work super early. So we usually just give him lunches, $50 a week for lunches. And for that, I have one moment. Okay, y'all, sorry, I'm back. Uh, so for him, he does $50 a week and I do tens for that. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's just the easiest. I think I feel like to hand somebody is a 10. And I feel like most places are like $10 a meal anyways or, or more now. So 10, $50 for his lunches. Um, and then you guys see I have a lot of extra cash left. Um, I'm super excited because since we had so much income this week and not as much bills, I was able to double up the payments on, we, we had a, it's called a credit builder loan through our uh, bank. And it was, it's basically a loan, we save our own money up and then they, the bank reports that to the creditor and then um, it's like we're paying a loan, but then in the end we get to pay ourselves. So I was able to get uh, $1,013 I was able to, uh, now I'm able to use that. Like I said in my last video, I'm using that for um, our month ahead on our mortgage. So I'm super, super excited about that. So um, I, that was 1,013. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and 10, 1,000. 
And then just because I don't like those or well, lies. Our mortgage is like one a thousand and nine and some change. So I'm just going to put in there a thousand and ten from that thousand and thirteen. And then the three dollars I'm gonna throw in with our month ahead for our truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab out our the only binder that I use for now. Um and I'm gonna go ahead and throw into our mortgage. And so what I plan to do, um, so this will pay for April, coming up mortgage for April. Uh, with that, the week after April, or the week after I pay my mortgage in April is when I will start saving that chunk. And I think it was like $223 or something. I don't know, I can't remember, let me see. I think I believe there was four. So yeah, two fifty three um, is what it's going to be. So uh, after that, like I said, the the paychecks we get after our mortgage payment that next week will I will save two hundred and fifty three dollars in there, um, and then the paycheck after that two hundred fifty three dollars. Paycheck after that two hundred fifty three dollars. And then one more $253, and then by the time our uh, May mortgage payment comes around, I will be able to pull this money out of here, make our May, and then the paycheck after that, I make that payment again, the, the fraction of our total. Um, so then I have our month ahead on our truck that we're saving up for, right? Uh, our 1%, of course, like I said, I only do 1% savings right now out of every paycheck that we get. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. I know, um, I think there was a comment last week about uh, if you just put like a dollar in each each savings thing, then um, it, it will grow. And I totally, completely understand that. But right now, we really don't have a whole lot of things we're saving for just because we know we're in such like a, a bad sitting with our debt so like really my husband and I we just we are so focused we're just we want to pay off our debt so that we're in a better position because um I know I said I would I want to pay off all our debt and then save up for IVF uh, my husband and I we've been talking a lot and it's still in the, in the talks we don't know yet it's going to be probably until next year but there is a possibility I'm going to be paying off as much debt as I can, and we might have to just go through with um, the loan because I just I don't want to wait any longer. I'm 28 years old. Um, my parents were older when they had me, so of course they're they're older now, and I just I really don't. I I did not get to spend a lot of time with my grandparents, and so like. I want, one, I want my parents, I love my parents to death. I want them to be able to spend time with their grandchildren and meet their grandchildren. And I also want my grandkids to have more time with their grandparents because I didn't get that a lot. Um, three of my grandparents died when I, I think, I think I was like 11 when my first two died it, within this like two years. And then my grandfather died when I was 18 years old, which of course, yes, that's a lot of time I got to spend with him. Um, and I miss him very much and I miss, I miss him all very much actually. Uh, but I mean, that's the thing. I just, I just want my kids to have that time and I want my parents to have that time. So that's the goal. We will see, like I said, it's still in talks with me and my husband. We don't know yet. We still don't want to take up a lot more debt, but depending on where we are sitting financially after this year, we'll see. Next year, it just might be something, and that would be a goal that I pay off then. Um, we shall see. Anywho, so for the truck, uh, of course, I have the monthly um, 1%, or I'm not monthly, the per paycheck, I had took out 1% of that, and that was $30. So I have 20. Uh, yeah, I have 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10. And then I also said that I had $3. And then I had three more dollars. Uh, I believe those were from my wallet, I believe. 
So then I have 36. Um, and then also because, I don't know, I'm anal. Um, <laughs> I also took out $10 uh, to round up my variable cash that I took out from the bank. Um, it was four ninety, and for some reason it didn't sit right with me. So I just took out another $10. And I was like, you know what? That's gonna go toward our savings as well for our month ahead on our truck. So I have month ahead 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. And then from our, or from my leftover in my wallet, I have 15 as well. And then another 20. So total that we will be putting toward um, our truck payment is actually let's just count what is all in here because i need to put it all in order anyways so bear with me guys a lot of bills y'all i'm making myself feel rich but i'm not that rich Ooh, there we go wow i am going to have to figure out how to consolidate that because that is she thick like she real thick I don't know how much these things can handle. Uh, <laughs> so total right now going toward our truck is 20, 40, 60, 60, or shoot, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 95, 100, uh, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140, 141, 42, 43, 44. 40, those are sticky, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So 151, that's exciting. I'm excited to be in three digits already. So 151 going toward our month ahead. Uh, I'm, I don't know what I said last week when I said I had $700 more to go and I had $70 in here. That was silly. Uh, but yeah, 731. 731 minus 151. I have $580 left to save up until I'm at my month ahead truck. And then I will be able to start doing the same thing that I'm doing with my mortgage with our truck payment. And that just helps us so much during our, um, you know, that helps us take down like, cause Basically with our mortgage, what I was doing was like my paycheck, my last paycheck of the month, because I get paid on the 15th and then the uh, last day of the month. Um, that last paycheck of mine, that was just our mortgage alone. And then we would just kind of like, kind of have to see where our first week is going because I I would feel like we would just blow it and, and then... We would kind of have to not scramble necessarily, but my buffer would not be as big. <laughs> so it just made me feel uncomfortable. I didn't like it. So that's why I wanted to start month ahead. Total goal is to completely be a month ahead on all of our bills. Um, but we are working toward that. That is our savings goal right now. Uh, maybe one of these, like way down the road, you guys will let see me use more binders. But as of right now, I'm comfortable with where I'm at doing just this um and then just throwing as much as i can at our dead at this point so thank you so much for watching i appreciate it um more than you know i i was completely blown away by all of the comments i've already gotten from my last video and i, I need to go look at them um i actually wondered like if i really wanted to you know go ahead with this um whole YouTube video of my budgeting and everything because I was like nobody's gonna watch it like I didn't I didn't want to necessarily like not waste my time but I didn't want to feel silly um and so I was like nobody's gonna watch it I'm probably just not should do this and I just should do my budgeting in my own home in my peace but uh, then I saw like everybody watching my video and then commenting and I was so excited. Like you guys can't believe how excited I was to see all those comments. Like I, after this, I'm going to go, I'm going to comment on everybody's comment. I, I'm just super excited that you guys enjoyed my video. I know it's all a work in progress. So, uh, give me a like and a follow if you want to see more, um, kind of see 
where we go from here. I'm super excited and I'm happy to have y'all along the journey. So like, follow, comment, everything like that. And I will see you guys next time.